Hey, what's up guys? Today we're talking about something really cool, and no, it's not actually printing rubber, but it's pretty close. Uh, this is uh, a Tech Tenacious Resin, I just got some on my fingers. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this is a resin that it prints a kind of a bit of a yellowish clear, but it's really squishy and flexible when it's thin. Uh, so this here is a, uh, a frog statue that I had uh, 3D scanned from a park uh, down in Philadelphia. And yeah, the details come out really good. It looks very nice. There's a piece of filament stuck to him. But uh, yeah, he's nice and you can actually squeeze him and he kind of reforms after a few seconds. So that's cool. There's another one here. It's uh, a little Pikachu and his ears and tail. His ears not so much, but his tail is very flexible. It kind of, you can really move it all around. And so that would be really good for models that you don't want to drop and have them break. It would make them really, you know, be able to absorb the impact of falling. Uh, same again, uh, there's one thing that I tried, is I got some of these colors of dye that are meant for uh, resin. Now, I don't know if they're specifically meant for 3D printing resin, but it said they're for resin and UV resin. So, take that away. It came with some gloves, but it's a whole set of all these different colors, and I haven't really gotten to give them all a good try yet, but there was a black one. Here it is. And I thought, well, if I'm going to do some rubber-like resin, might as well print some tires. And I'm going to try putting a little bit of this black in. So you can see these are a little bit darker. So it, this one, uh, I didn't print all the way. It got, uh, I ran out of resin, so I didn't put enough in. But it was a big one. So rather than do it again, I just add a little bit more, and I did a half-sized one. And I think they came out real nice. And it's this one is a little bit harder, but this one you can actually squish the uh, parts. And you could probably use this for like an RC car or something. So you can bend that and it'll bend itself back into the original position. Uh, and of course, since I was making this one, I figured I might as well make a rim for it too. This was uh, not with the Tenacious. This was with the uh, longer silver filament printed on the Ender 3 V2. These were all printed on the EPAC T6. And yeah, so uh, since I had some of that uh, slightly darker version of the resin left, I printed my fairy statue that you may have seen me 3D scan a couple of times in other videos. And she came out really nice. A little bit darker than the frog, but also a little bit more transparent and you know, clear looking. But yeah, this is really nice and her wings are thin, so they're very flexible. She can almost fly away. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really nice. And I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, if I, I think I have enough left in here that I could try with some of these other colors. So maybe I'll do another video with some of these. Uh, another thing that they said is that it mixes really well with Soritech Blue. So I did a little test here. Let's move some of these out of the way. And see if you can see. Now, so I've got these... Uh, made these little rods. It's basically just a solid, you know, rectangle of uh, the filament. So this one, uh, oh, I made these in uh, different thicknesses. So like, I think there were one millimeter, two millimeters, and four millimeters, if I recall correctly. So let's go with the, this one is just the Tenacious. And you can see it's very flexible. Uh, that's the one millimeter. Let's look at the uh, middle one. Yeah, it's still pretty flexible. And then the thickest one is still quite flexible. 
and it will gradually return almost back to its original shape. So comparing those to the, uh, the blue, the blue barely bends at the thickest and it just immediately springs back to its original. So then I combined them. I mixed them 50-50 together. So remember that blue barely bent and the tenacious bent a lot. So let's see what this one does here. I haven't tested any of these yet. I wanted to save it for the video. So, so yeah, it's kind of half and half. It, it bends a lot more than the blue, but not as much as the tenacious. So if you wanted to mix those, that would be a good kind of in-between. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's look at the, here's the thinnest. So that is almost the same as the tenacious actually at the one millimeter. And it's spring, but it springs back quicker, I think. So that's pretty cool. I mean, so there's a few things to note about this is that it's a lot thicker than regular resin. Um, so it is really thick and that means that you're gonna have to increase your lift time so the or distance so the time that it actually lifts up out of the vat and then goes back down because it's so thick you have to have enough time for it to flow back underneath before it goes back down. Uh, another thing is that it takes longer to, to cure so you will have to use uh, pretty much double the curing time per layer. Uh, now this is a mono uh, printer, so it's still pretty fast compared to a non-mono one, but it, keep in mind it is going to be longer. So here's something that uh, a client had hired me to do while I was in the middle of doing all this testing. Uh, he had these uh, action figures that he often has me print heads for them, like some, he'll have someone design a new head and then he has me print the heads out and then he sells them and people paint them, etc. So he sent me this uh, action figure, it was huge, uh, and um, had a new head for it, file, and I printed it and I had to adjust the whole size so it would fit on the neck properly, but it kept cracking. And I thought, you know what, let me try mixing it with some of that Tenacious. Uh, this was originally with the uh, Epax uh, Hard Gray resin, uh, which looks great, but it is brittle. So I mixed in uh, about, I think about 50-50 of the Hard Gray and this. And I don't have the final one because I sent it to my client, but it worked great. It with a little bit of twisting, it fit right onto the neck of the action figure. And that was perfect. And then, of course, I could also twist it a little bit and pop it off if I needed to, without any damage to the head itself. So that's something uh, you might want to consider. If you want to try this, you might want to try mixing it with other resins. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this uh, stuff. It's really cool. And I really like it, so I'm definitely going to be using the rest of this bottle with uh, some other things, putting some colors in it, trying to mix it with different resins. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, I will put links to where you can get this uh, on uh, Amazon affiliate links, and also links to the Soraya Tech page that has uh, different uh, exposure times and various things you might need to know about it. So that's it. Pretty quick video. If you liked this one, give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will try to answer them. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, please uh, hit me up on Patreon. I'll have links below. And see you next time.